So here I am inside KDP Rugged, and I'm going to search first for a fiction keyword idea and next for a non-fiction keyword idea. And the results you get, you can use for putting in the, the keywords when you set up your product on KDP. And you can use it to find out whether your niche is too comp uh, competitive already or if it's something that you can get into. But let's start with the fiction idea. And I'm going to start with a broad keyword here, romance, and see where it takes me. So it has already found a lot of results here. It will show you immediately the number of competitors, the Google searches per month, and the estimated Amazon searches per month. And you can click Analyze for each of these to get the competitive score. And the higher the score, the more difficult it is to enter. Everything below 35 is easy to enter. So we have one here. Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but that's probably a name of a product. I'm going to analyze this one too. Okay, you can get more information about the competition when you click on this button, check competition, for example for Paranormal Romance. Let's just try that. And then you can see the top books in this category. And again, you can check any of those out. You can see uh, how old they are in days, uh, how many reviews they have, what rating the reviews are, and what the price is for the product. You can also see the estimated number of daily sales and monthly sales. And let's say we want to check out the first one, then I just click check out, and it will bring me to Amazon's page. Ah, there's a capture I have to Type uh, TBNA. And here we are, and here you can see the book. I'm going back into KDP Rugged because you can also, just by selecting the book here inside KDP Rugged, then you'll be able to see a picture of the book. And if there are reviews, normally they show up down here. Let's try again. Take another one. Of course it doesn't work when I'm using it for a video, but normally you would see the, the reviews down here and you can even click on each review and see and read what it said. Perhaps it's because of too many reviews for these books. So it will take a while to load. But back to the idea searches. Let's say I have a book that would fit into the paranormal romance category, but it's too competitive. As you can see, it has a score of 90. Then I can dive further into the keywords by selecting or retyping the keywords and then do a new idea search and use it here and click go get them rugged. So now I'm doing a new search only for paranormal romance. And again, I can analyze all these to get the competitive score to see if there are any easy ones. And there is, in fact, one here with a competitive score of only 29 paranormal romance box set. So if you're writing paranormal romance, it's good to remember that if you package your paranormal romances, it's a good idea to use this keyword. We can even check the competition here and see what there is. Dun, dun, dun. Well, some of the more hot books here. And there are no reviews, that's why they don't show up. Here is one with 27 reviews. No, it's refusing. Okay, it has worked all the other times I've tried it, but of course it doesn't work now. But let's take some non-fiction instead. So let's say I'm interested in writing a self-help book. So I type self-help, go get them rugged. 
and uh, it has already found the results. So I'm going to analyze to check the competition. And as you can see, there are many results here for self-help. Some of those are not relevant for book ideas. As you can see here, self-help groups, for example. Uh, maybe you could write a book about it, but I'm not sure. I think people who searches for self-help groups, they are probably looking for self-help groups to join. Okay. So now we have a number of results. And if we skim over them, we can see there's one here. Self-help Laurie Moore, I guess that's the name of the author. Self-help psychology, down to 17. That's a very easy one to compete with, but let's check the average monthly earnings. It's only 72, so perhaps that explains why. Okay, so let's say I want to check out one of those topics. So I'm going to check further self-help anxiety. So I'm going to type that into a new idea search. And again, I'm going to get the competitive scores and Anxiety self-help books has a low score of 31 and there is there is a nice earning per month here average of 855 so that might be an idea too if you're writing a book about anxiety self-help then you should put this keyword in the keyword section of uh, KDP when you set up the book you can also check out the competition and in here you can see if the authors has the keyword in the title or in the subtitle and they don't have they don't have that so it should be easier for you to compete with when you have that kind of knowledge inside KDP rocket besides the new idea search and the new competition search you also have a walkthrough tutorial that will walk you through how you use the program and there are video tutorials bringing you to a web page. It's still under progress. So you have the introduction in here and you have how to select keywords and use it on KDP. And I know that Dave Chasson, who's making this program, he'll also make videos showing you how you can use this as a fiction author. So this was just my... Um, my attempt at do you using it, I would use the genre like I did with the paranormal romance. If you can go further down, if you know you're going to write about, um, I don't know, uh, werewolves or something like that, then you can type that into the keyword and find out where the lowest competition is. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, visual preview of the program and see you inside the mail.